Hi, today I am coming here to declare blessing and protection over your home. The Holy Spirit of God spoke to my heart that in this prayer, I will be praying for the Holy Spirit to bless your home. Your home will be blessed today. I have the Holy Bible open here. I have a verse that the Spirit of God told me to read to you. And you will receive this blessing. You who are joining the powerful prayer for you channel here today for the first time. Welcome, you are in the biggest prayer chain. This is not about religion, each person has their own religion. Here it is about God. My direction to you who are here on the powerful prayer for you channel for the first time. Here at this moment I want you to subscribe to the channel. You need to sign up so that in the next prayers, YouTube will send the prayer directly to your cell phone for free. Below this video you will see the word subscribe, I want you to click. From this moment on I will receive your name here and we will be praying for your life every day, it will be a blessing for your life. There is a verse in Psalm 147 that God speaks. He strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your people within you. I will repeat. He strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your people within you. When God is speaking it is a promise. In the Holy Bible, from the book of Genesis which is the first book to Revelation which is the last book, the Bible contains more than 8,000 promises between Genesis and Revelation. There are more than 8,000 promises for those who seek God and who have a spiritual routine. Of these 8,000 promises, more than 400 promises are only about home. It's only about our home. And the Psalm 91 is the strongest prayer in the Holy Bible. I guide you to enter here on the Powerful Prayer for You channel every day to pray the Psalm 91. Enter this channel at some point during the day to listen to the prayer of Psalm 91 because it blesses. Because this is the strongest prayer in the Holy Bible. Contains a promise about our home. No harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. Tent means your house. One of the enemy's biggest targets is our home. You cannot see. If God opened your spiritual vision for you to see the spiritual world, you would see how many dark beings fight to enter a house. That's why God himself is promising. For he has strengthened the bars of your doors. And when you say reinforcing the locks, it's not the physical lock. When we talk about reinforcing, it is not for someone to physically enter. Here you are not referring to a thief. Here it is not referring to the man. Here it is referring to spiritual forces. He strengthens the bars of your gates. Here because he has reinforced the locks on his door so that the enemy cannot enter. There are two places where the enemy tries to attack. Our body. The human body. Unfortunately, the enemy lives in the bodies of some people. And the second place the enemy lives most is in houses. If you are here, if you are receiving this prayer it is because God chose you to protect your home. God only reinforces the lock on the house of those who the enemy wants to enter in some way to enter to harm them with illness and fights. But in this prayer at this moment the Spirit of God will visit your home. May God visit your home. You who are listening to this prayer with your family. Or one more person listening along with you. May God visit your home. If you are not at home at this time. When I start to pray you will think of your house. Whoever is inside the house. You just need to reach out to your door. The front door of your house. When I start to pray you just need to reach out to your door. 
No need to touch the door. Just reach out towards your door. May the Psalm 147 be fulfilled in your house. May God strengthen the locks on your door so that envy does not enter. So that the spirit of illness does not enter, so that negative forces do not enter. I'm feeling the presence of God. May God place angels at the door of your home to bless, to protect your home. I want you to now write the sentence in the comments. No disaster will come near your tent. Write now in the comments below. No disaster will come near your tent. Everything you say and write is legal in the spiritual world. When the Holy Spirit delivered his message to me, I felt the presence of God very strongly. May God protect your home. May God protect your home from all attacks from the enemy. I also request that you click the like button on this video. Because every time you click the like button, you are letting YouTube know that this prayer is blessing you and that you want to receive the next prayers here on the channel. I will pray and one very important thing. When I finish this prayer, the first people you will send this prayer to is your entire family. Be an instrument in the hands of the Lord to bless your family with this prayer. The person you send this prayer to, God will also protect that house. May what the Holy Bible says be fulfilled in your life. I and my house will serve the Lord. Has no relation to religion. It has to do with praying and seeking God. I will pray now. Remember. When I start to pray I want you to reach out toward your door. No need to touch the door. Just reach out towards your front door. If you haven't come home yet, think about your home now. We will pray. Lord our God and our beloved and dear Father. Lord in this moment of prayer. I enter your holy and powerful presence. Lord in the greatest prayer chain. Notice how many daughters and sons of the Lord are here now seeking you. I ask that the Lord will come to consecrate and strengthen the locks on the door of your children's house. So that the spirits of curses, fights, illnesses, envy or any other evil do not enter this house. That this door is protected. Strengthen the locks on your daughters and your sons' doors. God, I ask that in every house now where this prayer is coming, that in every house of your sons and daughters, even those who are not at home at the moment, but they are praying, may the angels of the Lord be over each person's door to protect and bless. May the promises of your word be fulfilled in our home. In Lord Jesus' name, say, my house is under the blessing, it is under the protection of the Most Holy Trinity, of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now pray with me. Praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God, how pleasant and fitting to praise Him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem, He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars and calls them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power, his understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise, make music to our God on the harp. He covers the sky with clouds, he supplies the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens when they call. His pleasure is not in the strength of the horse, nor his delight in the legs of the warrior. The Lord delights in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Extol the Lord, Jerusalem, praise your God, Zion. He strengthens the bars of your gates and blesses your people within you. 
He grants peace to your borders and satisfies you with the finest of wheat. He sends his command to the earth, his word runs swiftly. He spreads the snow like wool and scatters the frost like ashes. He hurls down his hail like pebbles. Who can withstand his icy blast? He sends his word and melts them, he stirs up his breezes, and the waters flow. He has revealed his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation, they do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. And you say Amen. Say glory to God. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. I want you to send this prayer to as many people as you can. And send a message. This prayer is to bless your home. I felt it in my heart to send it to you. Do it. You are a person that God chose to be blessed. And also chose to be an instrument in the hands of the Lord. Let the Lord use you to bless people. Every blessing you share, they come back double to your family. Click the share button. God bless you, your home and your family.